Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to do a video about German schmear or mortar wash, some people call it. Uh, found a lot of videos online, but you know, more homeowner type stuff. So I wanted to make a video to show everybody the way I did it and um, with, you know, uh, a little bit more masonry terminology for some of you guys that do it for a living. So. Um, I'm going to show you how we did this mortar wash on this house and um, what we're doing, give you a little instruction on it. Uh, the first thing is, first thing is our mortar. Um, we used a Type S mortar. There's different types. Uh, you have some, they have them for different reasons, but Type S is the one we used. It's for above ground use and um, <clears throat> we did a two to one mix. So one shovel full of mortar and one, excuse me, two shovelfuls of sand. And in this situation, we used white sand because we wanted the whitest possible outcome that we could get. You'll see the house here. Some of the mortar is still wet over here. It dries wider down here. And something we found out is that the mortar is more transparent while it's wet uh, it usually dries less transparent so you'll see less of the brick after it's done drying and next I'm going to show you guys how we put the mortar on okay so the first thing that you guys need to know is that the consistency of the mortar matters a lot um, if it's too dry it takes way too long to put it on and if it's too wet it really smears and you can't see the brick from behind because you smear it. If you've ever if you've ever worked with mortar, you know you have to wait a little while to tool the joints. It's kind of like that. You can't be too wet to where it smears on the mortar when you scrape it off. So this is how we put it on. So what you're going to do is you're going to let this dry for a little bit, maybe it's like 70 degrees out here. We'll let it dry for maybe five or 10 minutes. Let it uh, become, let the brick absorb some of that moisture. We'll scrape it off, take the excess, put it back in our mixing bucket and reuse it. So I'll show you that next. Okay, so we've let this dry for about five minutes. Um, we're going to scrape it off now. One thing I'll say is that depending on the look you want, you may want to let it set more, you may want to let it set less. Um, if you want to see a lot of brick, you may have to put it on a little less wet than we're doing it here. Um, I did see some advice online that you should pre-wet the brick. We didn't have to do that, uh, but you may need to in your circumstance, I'm not sure. But uh, I'll show you how this comes off, and if you have a heavy hand, you can see a little bit more brick. If you uh, do it with a little bit lighter hand, you won't see as much brick, of course. That's it. Here's the finished product. Um, with the light shining on it, it's hard to see the brick, but I'm gonna go a little closer so you guys can see what it looks like after it's dried for a few days.
you can see here, you know. Just make it how you want it. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. <laughs>